Hey everyone, and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons for another Buyer Quest song tutorial. Today, I'm very excited to bring you a lesson on Oasis's 1995 classic, Wonderwall. I'm gonna take you through all the chord changes, we're gonna learn some really cool busker style chords, and some very useful strumming patterns. I got all the chords available for you at patreon.com slash swiftlessons, where you can find resources for all of my recent lessons. If you have a song that you would like for me to teach next, you can click through the link in the description and put in your song request on my website, swiftlessons.com. Now, let's get started with your lesson. One, two, three, four. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. By now, you should have somehow realized what you're gonna do. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. Backbeat, the word is on the street that the fire in your heart is out. I'm sure you've heard it all before, but you never really had a doubt. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. And all the roads we have to walk are winding. And all the lights that lead us there are blinding. There are many things that I like to say to you, but I don't know how. Cause maybe you're gonna be the one that saves me. And after all, you're my wonder. Okay, close look at the fretboard, getting started with our beginner-friendly lesson on Oasis's Wonderwall. This is a fantastic song for beginners to learn because it utilizes these chords that we refer to as busker's chords. These are shapes that allow you to keep a couple of fingers in a fixed position while we move around the fretboard with one or two fingers to create some other chord shapes. So let's get started with the intro section, learning the chords that we have. Um, starting off with those fixed fingers, we have the ring finger and pinky on the third fret of the B string and high E string. We're going to use that to put together an E minor 7 shape. Okay, so that's my pointer finger on the second fret A string and my middle finger second fret D string. E minor 7. My middle finger jumps up to the third fret of the low E string to create a busker's G. All right, then I'm gonna make a D major shape. This is what we call a D sus four. My ring and pinky are still in the same position, but now my pointer finger is on the second fret of the G string. Sometimes I like to have my middle finger still on the high E string, second fret, just because that's where my muscle mem uh, memory wants those fingers to go. All right, so so far we have the E minor seven. The G, the D sus 4, and now we're ready for the last chord in the intro. We're also going to use this for the verse, uh, an A7 sus 4. Okay, just take your pointer finger and middle finger and put it on the D string and the G string. Okay, so that's just like the E minor 7, but we're bringing those fingers down. Okay, and sometimes I, I prefer to have my middle finger off. Or I might do some tricks with that finger. Okay, so E minor 7, G, D sus 4, A7 sus 4. Just like that. Now each of these chords is going to get two beats. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and four, one and two, and three and four. That's right, we have two rounds of that chord progression. Now, if this is all new to you, these busker's chord shapes, practice just going through that progression over and over dozens and dozens of times until it starts to feel comfortable. From there, you're gonna be much more equipped to handle the strumming pattern. 
Okay, fantastic. Now that you have those basic busker style chords down, you're ready to get into the strumming pattern. Before you get there though, I want you to know that guitarist Noel Gallagher, he changes the rhythm up quite a bit as he's playing through just the recorded version. He does even more with it in live versions, so don't get overly obsessed with trying to match him perfectly. I'm going to show you the opening strumming pattern, and we're going to use that or some variation of it throughout the song. So, getting started, it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, real slow now. So over the E minor 7 we have down, 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 up. Over the G chord, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Over the D sus 4, down, up, down, up, down, down. Then over the A7 sus 4, up, 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 down, down, up. Okay, so one more time through. E minor 7, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, down, up. Now the thing that seems to change the most is that A7 sus 4 doesn't always have those syncopated upstrokes. Sometimes it's exactly uh, like the D sus 4. So, just a little down and upstroke there at the end. So there you have kind of two different variations of it, taking the A7 sus 4 and just treating it a little differently depending upon where you are in the song. Okay, great. Now you have a new set of busker style chords. All right, perfect for your next original composition. And you also have a very useful strumming pattern. Now we're going to apply that same chord progression, that same strumming pattern to the verse. To get started, I would like for you just to learn how the chord changes correspond with the lyrics. So I'm going to play through the verse, just strumming once for each of the chords. So we have... Today is gonna be the day that we're gonna throw it back to you. By now you should have somehow realized what you gotta do. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you. Okay, so we went through that strumming pattern three times. Now here's the change. A C add nine. Now. A D sus four. And then double the A seven sus four chord. So how do you play that C add nine? Well, it's just the same as the G chord that we were playing before, but the middle finger and pointer finger on the A and the D string. And remember, we still have that busker's position. Third finger on the third, uh, third fret of the B string and the pinky on the third fret of the high E. For a C add nine, and I'm not including the low E string there. All right, so that last line. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. Okay, and you apply the same strumming pattern. C add nine. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Okay, if you have verse one down, fantastic. You have verse two down as well. We're going to do the exact same thing, except at the end, you're not going to play that C add nine, D sus four, and A seven sus four change. Rather, you're just going to repeat that same uh, chord progression that we've been playing throughout the verses and the intro. E minor seven, G, D sus four, A sus four. Let's give that verse two a try. Back B, the word is on the street and the fire in your heart is out. I'm sure you've heard it all before and you never really had a doubt. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. All right, you just keep riding with it four times through for that second verse. That gets you into the bridge. 
So if you can play your verse like that, then you want to try to apply the strumming pattern. We strum through the A7. Then on the last one. Okay, if you were doing verse one. All right, now we're gonna move into the bridge. Okay, now moving into the bridge section, following along with the chord sheet that you can find at patreon.com slash lessons. Here we're gonna have a slightly different chord progression. The C add nine, D sus four, and E minor seven. We'll have that chord progression twice. And all the roads we have to walk are winding learning how the chords line up with the words. And all the lines that lead us there are blinding. All right, then the next chord progression we'll have, C at nine. There are many, D sus four again, things that I. Then a walk down, walk up section G. Like to say to you, but I don't know how. And then on that A7, sus four and holding it out. So how do we do that walk down, walk up section? We have the G major chord. Then we transition to a D sus four slash F sharp. Okay, I do have the chord diagrams on the chord sheet, but for those of you not using it, you have your pointer finger on the second fret of the low E string and the middle finger on the second fret of the G string. Okay, all relative to the capo, of course. All right, so we have there are many things that I would like to say to you, but I don't know how. G, D, Seuss, 4, slash, F sharp, E minor 7, and G, back to A7, sus 4. All right, now, how do you strum it? So, starting from the beginning of that bridge. Same exact strumming pattern. Then when you get to the third line on your chord sheet. All right, so for the walk down, walk up section, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Then when you get to the A7, Seuss four, combine the strumming pattern that we had in the verse just uh, the, for like the full measure, okay? So instead of splitting it across chords, you're gonna hold out the A7, Seuss four chord like this. Okay, so that was down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. And you gotta double it. Okay, that build up gets you into the chorus in a very momentous way. Okay, now moving into the final section that you need to learn, the chorus. The chord progression that we are using, we have the C add nine, E minor seven, G, but then you're gonna go back to E minor seven. That last chord change that I just discussed is oftentimes omitted on a lot of different chord sheets online. So I made sure to include it on my own. Okay, so, because maybe you're gonna be the one that saves me. Just keep repeating it. And after all, you're my wonder wall. All right. Then you'll have the A7 Seuss four chord if it's the first time that you've passed through the chorus. If it's the last time, the end of the song, then you just go to an E minor seven and let it ring out. So after that first chorus, we're going to repeat verse one again. It's a very simple song. Repeat verse one again with just some slight lyrical uh, variation. Then we go back to the bridge. Then we repeat the chorus three times before going into a closing instrumental section, which is just playing that chorus progression. You're gonna do that four times, and um, that in the track is where you're hearing that really nice piano line. It's a really beautiful section. Okay, so you're closing out the tune. 
with that C add nine, E minor seven, G to E minor seven, four times uh, to complete the tune. Congratulations, you have another one in the bag. You're ready to perform. All right, everyone, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on Oasis's Wonderwall. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much to my supporters at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. I hope you're enjoying the extra resources. Also, thanks to everyone who's put in a song request at swiftlessons.com. I really appreciate your guidance. I got many more videos coming up, so keep checking back. Please subscribe, please share. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.